Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to talk about if your music is a career or just a hobby. So I got into a discussion the other day with some of my other associates and other friends about whether a lot of these indie artists just have a hobby, an expensive hobby, or do they actually have a music career going? Now, how do you define this? Well, we all kind of came to the conclusion that if you're not making any money on your music, it must be a hobby. And it can get quite expensive, like I said, because there's so many fees and um, different things just to do shows. You got to pay for gas. And if you're doing shows for free, all that stuff adds up. Wear and tear on your car, equipment, recording equipment, all that good stuff. It could get quite expensive just to be a hobby. But of course, you want it to be a career. But if you're not making any money, it's just a damn hobby. So how do we get it to be a career? Well, don't give away your music for free, for one. Yes, you can give away certain tracks here and there just to, you know, gain hype on your album or gain hype for the next single or your show or something like that. But there are artists out there that are just giving their music away completely free. And on top of that, doing free shows. That's a hobby. That's not a career. That's not that's not what you're trying to do. I mean, unless you just want to keep it a hobby, then that's fine. But if you want your music to be a career, you got to make money. So don't give all your music away for free. Make sure it's on streaming services. This way people can basically look up your music and stream it. Let's face it, most people have some type of streaming service now, whether it's Apple Music, Spotify is extremely popular, Tidal, all them good things, and artists and bands get paid for streams. It's not a ton of money, but yes, they do get money and they get paid for it. If you have millions of streams, you could actually make a decent chunk of change out of it. Like imagine being a major artist with 38 million listeners a month. Imagine that. Imagine how amazing that would be and the money that would continu continually come in. So you want to get to that point. So don't give your money away for free. Get a distributor. I've done videos on different music distributors before. You should know how to do it by now. Make sure you're on a distributor like DistroKid, like CD Baby, like TuneCore, all them, they will make sure you get on all the streaming services and download services. I mean, downloads are down, but streaming is where it's at right now. So yes, just right like that, your music goes from a hobby to somewhat of a career just because you're going to start making money through streaming. Like I said, it's not a ton if you're just indie or if you're like really on the low indie where not a lot of people know about you yet, but still... There's, there's money there. What about shows? A lot of people, yeah, you got to pay dues. You got to do free shows a lot. But a lot of promoters will have you sell tickets. I know a lot of artists and bands hate doing that. They feel like they're pimping themselves out and things like that. But if you have the fan base, if you have a true fan base and you have the hustle, you could sell those tickets and make money for yourself. I think when I was doing it back in the early 2000s, I'd do a show and I'd have to sell tickets at first, of course, like everyone else. And I think they'd give you a certain amount and you would sell them for a certain amount and you got a certain amount on top of that. So also when you sold tickets, it also determined what time you go on at. So if you didn't sell really any tickets and you go to the show that night, they'd put you on early as possible. You'd be the earliest one to go on, which sucked because not everybody would be there then. You know how these shows are. A lot of people like to come late. So that would suck. But if you sold your, all your tickets out, you would actually make some money off of it. You would go on closest to the top. So it would be later, the full crowd will be there, and it's maximum exposure then. So if, if you know what I mean. So try to do shows like that. If you're not a big enough act to have your own openers and you're, you're the main show and you actually get paid, whether it be you get paid some at the door, people coming in, you get some of the ticket sales, whatever it may be. If you're not that popular yet... Do, the, do it with promoters where you can sell tickets and you can make money that way yourself. Because at least you're making money then. You gotta think outside the box. You gotta hustle. You gotta do it like that. Also, like I've said before, sell merchandise. Even if you're not a huge, huge, huge act yet, you could still sell t-shirts. You could still sell CDs there if you wanted, or thumb drives, or whatever, whatever you wanna sell these days. And people will probably buy it. When I was an indie artist, you know, around 2000, when I was first starting out, I was still opening an, an opening act then, and I would bring merch to shows, and I would sell stuff, even though I wasn't, I wasn't the main attraction. I was just an opening act, and people would still buy because they liked my music, and they'd be like, "Oh, I'll buy a T-shirt from you, or I'll buy a CD." 
And of course, back then in the 2000s, CDs were more popular than obviously, but so you got to hustle. You got to find ways to make money off your craft. And that's how you make it a career. Now, I hope you like this video and I hope it gives you some motivation. Also, give this video a like, please share it so other artists and bands can see it and get motivated off of it. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Hit the bell icon and you'll get notified whenever a new video comes out. I do tons of videos and I have tons of past videos of music business advice and tips. So I hope you can appreciate that. Also, look in the description below. There are tons of things you can do and look at. And there's ebooks you can download down there all about music business. There's discounts on services for TuneCore, DistroKid, Banzoogle, all kinds of stuff down there to help artists and musicians. So go down below in the description, check all that out and use it. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next video.